dear students in this lecture of software engineering we will discuss about the function oriented software design and the contents of video includes structure design and in this lecture we will study about uh, objectives of structure design and the transformation of dfd model to the structure chart and the techniques of transformation of dfd model to structure chart that is transform analysis and transaction analysis and in this video we will discuss about transform analysis in detail what is function oriented software design the function oriented design techniques are still very popular as these were proposed in the late 1970s after the top down decomposition the different identified functions are mapped into the modules and the module structure is created this module structure would possess possess all the characteristics of good design here in this video we will discuss about structure analysis structure design methodology the major work on this design methodology was done by de marco and jordan in 1975 and by gain and sarson in 1979 the sasd technique can be used to perform the high level design of the software sasd methodology involves two distinct activities that is structure design and structure analysis the figure shows the structure analysis and structure design methodology in the figure it is shown that the structured analysis activity transform the srs document into graphical model called as dfd model during the structured analysis the functional decomposition is performed whereas during the structured design all the function identified during the structured analysis are mapped into a module structure this module structure is called as a high level design or the software architecture of the problem this is represented using the structure chart the high level design is followed by detailed design and during the detailed design the algorithms and data structures of the individual modules are designed and detailed design can be implemented as a working system by the use of some programming language objectives of structured design the main main aim of the structured design is to transform the results of the structured analysis that is dfd model into the structure chart the structure chart represents the software architecture the various modules making up the system the module dependency which makes which means that which module calls which other modules and the parameters passing between the different modules the structure chart representation can be easily implemented using some programming language the main focus of structure chart is on the module structure of the software and the interaction among the modules structure charts symbols or basic units it includes different symbols like uh, rectangular box arrow pointing downwards at an angle arrow with circular tail arrow with shaded circular tail the diamond box and arc with arrow head we already have studied the structure chart in the previous videos for the details of the structure chart please see the previous video on the structure charts the slide shows the layer design and poorly layer design and in any structure chart there should be one and only one module at the top that is called the root and the figure there is m1 module that is at the top and that is called the root module and there should be at most one control relationship between any of the modules in the structure chart for example 
if a module A invokes a module B, then module B cannot invoke module A. So layer this so the layer design and poorly layer design is shown in this figure. Next is about the transformation of DFD model into the structure chart. Structure design provides the two techniques for transforming the DFD to structure chart. These are transform analysis and transaction analysis. And in this video, we will discuss about the transform analysis in detail. Next is about the different steps of transform analysis. In the transform analysis, first and the DFD model that is the output of the structure uh, analysis is divided into three, three parts that is input, processing and output. The input portion of the DFD includes the processes that transform the input data from physical to the logical form. Each input portion is called afferent branch and the output portion of the DFD transform the output data from the logical form to the physical form and each output portion is called afferent branch. Step 2. In the next step of the transform analysis, the structure chart is derived by drawing the one functional component for the central transform and the afferent and afferent branches. These are drawn below the root module which would invokes these modules. Step 3. In the third step of the transform analysis, the structure chart is refined by adding the sub-functions required by each of high-level function, functional components. Next is, uh, in this uh, slide, we discuss uh, the details of the steps of the transform analysis. As we know that in the first uh, step of the transform analysis, in the first step of a transform analysis, we divide the DFD into three parts that is input, processing and output. So as per the first step, the input portion is identified from the DFD which is called afferent branch and then the output portion of the DFD is identified which is called the afferent branch and the remaining portion of the DFD that is called the central uh, transform. Now, uh, as per the second step of the transform analysis, the structure chart is derived by drawing one functional component for central transform and the afferent and afferent branches. These are drawn below the root uh, module and uh, which and is which uh, would invoke these modules. The figure shows that root module invokes three sub modules and this is shown by three invoking arrows pointing downwards from the root module that is uh, and the root module is represented uh, here by the rectangular box mean and the, the n there are three sub modules these are also represented by a rectangular box that is afferent central transform and afferent um, afferent module and in the step 3 of transform analysis the structure chart is refined by adding the sub functions required by each of high level functional components. To understand the concept of transform analysis, let us consider the example of RMS calculating software that would read three numbers in some range that is minus 1000 to plus 1000 and would determine the root mean square of three input numbers and display it. First of all, the context level DFD is drawn and the RMS calculating system accepts the three integers from the user and returns the results to the user. So user here is represented as a rectangle and RMS calculations are represented as a single process and this is called the context level and the context level DFD is shown in the figure. And uh, we already have discussed uh, uh, the um, about the data flow diagram and structured analysis 
in the previous videos. For the details of DFD and structured analysis, um, please see the previous videos on structured analysis and data flow diagrams. In the next step, to draw the, uh, the main, um, main module of uh, zero level DFD is decomposed into sub modules or sub processes. To draw the level 1 DFD, it has been found that there are four basic functions that system needs to perform that is accept the input from the user, validate the numbers, calculate the root mean square of the input numbers and displaying the result. These functions are displayed as shown in the figure. Checking, in checking inputs is in the figure. Checking inputs is considered as, as process one, and calculating RMS is considered as process number two, and displaying result is represented as process number three. So. Now, as per the first step of the transform analysis, the DFD is divided into three parts, that is input, processing, and output. The input part of the DFD includes the processes that transform the data from physical to the logical form of, and is called as afferent. And the out portion of DFD include the processes that transform the logical form to the physical form that is called afferent. The afferent and afferent uh, portions are shown in the figure. The afferent, afferent and central transform and the remaining portion is of the DFD is called central transform. The afferent, afferent and central transform are shown in the figure. Here Checking input process is shown as afferent and displaying result is afferent and calculating RMS is considered as central transform. As per the second step of the transform analysis, the structure chart is derived by drawing the one functional component for central transform and the afferent and afferent branches. These are drawn below the root module, which would invoke these modules as shown in the first figure at the top. And there is a second figure, and there is a description of uh, second figure, which includes that to create the structure chart, first main module is created, which is called as the root module or the control module as it is shown in the DFD that checking input is considered as the first process and calculating RMS is considered as second process and displaying result is considered as third process where checking inputs means uh, afferent branch and uh, calculating RMS represents central transform and uh, Displaying result is considered as afferent branch. So the checking input module is placed on the left side, that is afferent module, and displaying result module is placed on the right side, that is afferent module. The remaining portion of DFD is represented here as the central transform, that is, calculating RMS is considered as central transform and is placed at the center below the root module and in the figure it is shown that the root module invokes three sub modules that is checking input calculating rms and displaying results and the invo invocation is shown by invoking arrows from root to these sub modules Now, as per, the second, as per the third step of the transform analysis, the structure chart is refined by adding the sub-functions required by each of high-level functional components. In the figure, after the first step of transform analysis, we have root module at the top 
and this module invokes three sub modules that is checking input calculating rms and displaying result as per the step 3 of the transform analysis the checking input module further invokes two sub modules that is reading input and checking validity of the inputs in the figure reading input returns the three inputs that is x y and z and the validity of these inputs is returned by checking validity module to the checking input module as shown in the figure to draw the level 2 of dfd the process number 2 of level 1 dfd is decomposed into three sub processes that is process 2.1 process 2.2 process 2.3 process 2.4 and the process 2.5 the input to these processes that is 2.1 2.2 and 2.3 are the input numbers that is x y and z this is shown in the figure the output from these processes is x square y square and z square these outputs becomes the input to the process 2.4 and mean square is the output of process 2.4 and is input to the process 2.5 that is root which produces the output rms value the second level dfd shown in the first figure that is the top figure is converted into the structure chart as shown in the second figure um, that is at the bottom um, by transform analysis by placing the square module to the left of computing rms module and mean module is placed at the center and rms module at the right of the computing rms module checking input module It returns the valid inputs to the root module and the valid in inputs are then used by computing rms module which further invokes three sub modules that is square mean and rms square module returns the squares of the inputs to the computing rms and is used by mean module the mean module returns the mean of the squares to the computing rms and rms returns the rms value to the computing rms which further returns rms value to the root module and the root module further invokes display result module which displays the rms value as the output the modules are represented in the figure as a rectangle and the invoking arrows shows the invoking modules uh, means uh, in the figure the root module invokes three sub modules that is checking uh, checking input module computing rms module and display result module students if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel then there is a link of playlist of all the previous videos